Hi everyone, and welcome to Gwen Collects. Okay, hello everyone. I am back in yet another very creative spot. <laughs> um, today I'm on the floor for this unboxing because honestly, I felt like doing a chill unboxing and the lighting was best in front of my window here. And I was like, well, why don't I just sit on the floor in front of the window, you know? So I'm sitting in front of my window here, <laughs> enjoying. I'm wondering if my mic might be less echoey because I'm like closer to the carpet here and like my ceilings are kind of high in my new place and it like echoes a lot, I found with the audio in my recent videos. But worry not, I'll finally be able to film in my collection room, probably in like two weeks. I'm gonna film my new updated collection room video, the final reveal that I feel like I've been like waiting for for months. Um, everything is finally unpacked. I think the room is finally where I want it to be in order to like show it to you guys. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be coming out in the next couple weeks and then I'll finally be able to film in there. You may have seen in the B-roll on my most recent haul video, the details that I was filming in front of that is in the new collection room, very exciting but I haven't filmed any like chill unboxings on my new couch in there yet, or really shown you, guys, shown you guys any of my displays. So I am so excited, so excited about that. Anyway, today we have a very exciting unboxing. I thought it would be fun to unbox this figure because I got this figure for $87, okay? But this figure retailed for like 360 US dollars. Yeah, this was on the Crunchyroll sale. Thank you to the person on Reddit. I'm gonna post their Reddit post here. Shout out to them. I forget their username, but shout out to them for posting this on the uh, r slash anime figure subreddit because they are a G. Okay, I'm just, I'm scrolling Reddit as I do. Um, I'm addicted to the OK Buddy Persona Reddit. It's so funny. It is my favorite subreddit ever. But anyway, um, I've been, on Reddit quite a bit recently because I've been looking at memes on OK Buddy Persona. But I look at the other subreddits too and I was looking at the figure collection subreddit and then they just like, someone's like, oh my God. Like Crunchyroll has a Shibuya Scramble figure for $87. And it's actually a figure I wanted to buy originally, but like, I was just like, I don't want to pay the price that this figure costs, you know? Well, I'm glad I didn't buy it because I thought it was like not going to go through. I thought it was going to be like, a uh, pricing mistake because Crunchyroll's had pricing mistakes before where they've priced like a pre-order really low and then afterwards like refunded people and like if you wanted to order you could reorder at like the real price so I thought this was like a joke Moogie Moogie no I got Moogie man he's here to hang out with us so I thought it was gonna get like my order was gonna get cancelled and then I get the shipping notification and I was just like oh so yeah I have this big box with me today Crunchyroll just shipped it straight up in the Shibuya figure box. I'm not gonna flip it vertically because all of my address info is on it and I can't get the sticker off. So <laughs> we're gonna open it from the bottom, which is not ideal, but it's fine. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited. Let's get right into this unboxing. This may be one of the craziest deals I've ever gotten on a figure. This is like 70% off for retail price, which is crazy. And like the other crazy part of it is that this I, I paid twenty dollars US for shipping on this. Whereas, like, I remember when Ami Ami was shipping this figure out, people were getting shipping quotes like upwards of one hundred and fifty dollars to ship this, which is crazy. <laughs> Actually, insane. And it is. I know it's upside down. This over there. It is the My Sakurajima. I don't know what it's called. Enoden version. Oh. Oogie, what was that? I got a new bar cart, if you guys can see it in the background there, from Ikea's new collection recently. And I'm obsessed with it, but Mugen also likes to climb in it. I think he knocked my little Miku figure that I had in there out. <sighs> Bro. Anyway. It is this my figure, can you guys see? It's kind of reflecting off the window but I am so excited for her. Here it is. The box is quite big. I mean, it's a big figure that has like a big backdrop to it, but it looks so pretty in the box. Eastream makes really, really nice figures. I do think they're overpriced, but I think the figures themselves are actually pretty nice. Um, 
I have the East Stream Gojo. Is that the only East Stream figure I have? It might be. Um, and I love him. He's a, a fantastic figure. Um, so I'm very excited to see how this one turned out. They do charge a premium, but I feel like they're like pretty innovative with their figure designs. And like, I don't know, they do a good job. I, I think the only like bad release they had was Albedo. She had like droopy wings, but I think it was like their second figure they maybe ever put out. And they ended up sending everybody that ordered her new wings anyway, which I feel like was great. Now, the fact that this figure became that much of a deal, like went down to $87, is maybe not saying good things about their sales numbers, but you know, who knows? So I think it's just one big blister. So I'll pop it off. And then there's like a sub blister inside this top half that has like my, and some of the like crossing arms. And then we have the bottom blister that has the big backdrop with the train. So the thing I really loved about this figure was this train backdrop. Oh my God. I love the like forced perspective on it. I don't know, I just think that's so neat. But yeah, I love like the forced perspective they use to make the train like, look like it's popping out more than it is. Like it's, it's pretty flat, but it looks very 3D when it's popping out like that. And I love it. I think that is just so cool. I do wish they had done a little bit more with the edge. I feel like it's kind of like, I don't know if I can hide my face so that it focuses. Um, it's very like plain. At the edge, it's just plain gray. I feel like they could have done maybe like some kind of frame, but I do really like that it's just like a chunk out, you know? It's for Kamakura. Pop the bottom blister open. I don't think I need instructions. I'm pretty sure Shibuya Scramble does like the online instructions where you have to scan a QR code. And I don't feel like doing that. So I'm gonna just try and put it together myself. So let's pull my out. Dude, I can't believe I got this figure for 87 US dollars. I think it was about 130 after shipping. Canadian, crazy. Actually crazy. Maybe 140 with the exchange rate right now. Just pulling off all of the little extra pieces. But first impressions are that Eastream, Eastream does it well. Like I know they're overpriced, but that Mai is probably the best Mai figure I have ever seen. She is stunning. Obviously I'll have actually good B-roll, but she is stunning. Mugi, no. Mugen. Mugen's really intrigued with it too. You can't really see him. You can see his tail. Um, but yeah, look at how stunning this is. She is gorgeous. Her face especially is just so beautiful. I love the blush on her cheeks. I love how her hair flows. The hair sculpt is stunning. The shading looks great. I love the glossy bunny ears on her. Um, her skirt shading is stunning as well. And the tights, honestly, every, Every single part of this figure is just shaded immaculately. She's quite big as well. Like for a one seventh, I'd say this is almost one sixth territory for scale. Um, she's beautiful. She is literally stunning. Like this is one of the nicest one seventh scale figures I think I have in my collection. I'm just like a schoolgirl. She is beautifully done. Like, like I'm saying, East Stream is expensive, but their sculpts and paint jobs are top, top notch, I must say. Um, okay, let's put my right here for now. And then... We'll attach all of the train stuff. Like the detailing on this is amazing. Like that looks so good. So I think that goes in the big square hole right here. Can you guys see me? I'll move this back so you can kind of, uh, you can't really see it. I'll hold it up while you Can you guys see that now? Oh yeah. So that goes in the big square hole. I'm assuming this goes in the two small holes and then my goes in the round. Well, maybe this isn't a good idea. <laughs> I don't know which side. They're both pretty nicely detailed. The one side is notched, so you know which way is the front of this. Lastly is the crossing arm. So that just pops this way. This way, actually. Right there. 
So all of this is very well detailed. I think it just like finishes off this whole setup really, really nicely. It looks fantastic. Let me, oh my God, this is, I'm probably giving all of you a heart attack, I know. <laughs> uh, let's attach my. The only thing I don't like about this figure is the plastic foot pegs. That's kind of, eh. I don't know why Eastream goes the distance with like all the detailing and then always uses plastic foot pegs. Like my Megumi, oh, I have a Megumi. That's my other Eastream figure. My Megumi figure, her foot pegs are plastic. And like, I've seen so many people try to remove her from the base and both foot pegs just like break off. Like for such expensive figures, it's so weird to me that they go for plastic foot pegs, but whatever. Um, these two seem pretty sturdy. Again, I would have preferred a metal foot peg though, but here she is fully assembled. Uh, overall, I think this figure is breathtakingly gorgeous. And to get it for this price is insane. Like if you lived in the States and could have free shipping off Crunchyroll, this would have been $87 all in. That's it. Like, even if you don't like Bunny Girl Senpai, <laughs> I feel like you should just like, I feel like people probably bought this figure that don't even like that haven't even watched the show or like don't even like her just because it was such a good deal for such a sick figure. Like I didn't think I would end up ever getting this figure because I just wasn't willing to pay the like 500 Canadian dollars that it would have taken to get her. So the fact that I was able to pick her up for 140 is like the best deal ever. So thanks again to the person on Reddit that posted this link. You're a real G, honestly, thank you so much. Um, and to everybody else who picked her up, I hope you're as happy with her as I am. Oh my God, I'm so pleased. Like, she looks stunning. I think I might put my other Bunny Girl Senpai figure, I'll put it in the B-roll. Maybe I'll make her stand like here. I do feel like there's a big empty space. I know this is where the train's supposed to go, but like, I feel like there's a huge empty space on the, on the figure right here. I don't know. It seems like very unbalanced, especially because Mai's in front of all of this stuff. Just feels like it's very like right side heavy with detail. And then this is kind of like minimal here. So I think it'd be pretty to put like my Tomoe scale from Bunny Girl Senpai here, or maybe like Bunny Mai. I do have a Bunny Mai figure. So it could be like, I don't know, her alter ego. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely obsessed with her. I think Eastream did the most insane job on this figure and Crunchyroll did us a real service in helping us get her for such, such a good price. Like this is like one of the best deals in the history of figure collecting, I think. Crazy, actually crazy. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I enjoyed making it. It's always nice to just film these little quick, fun unboxings, especially when the figure is as nice as this one. So yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, or even subscribing. And if you'd like to support Gwen Collects even more, you can also subscribe to my Patreon at patreon.com slash Gwen Collects. I'm gonna put this down while I finish up this outro. I wanna give a huge thanks to all of my patrons on Patreon and an even bigger thanks to all of my Chikatir patrons. Noble, Castle, Ryomi, Remember June, Melindy Lou, Leon Blade, and Chance. Thank you all so much for your support. As always, I hope you all have a very, very wonderful day. Uh, hopefully Mugen didn't interrupt this video too much with his crinkling of the plastic that this figure came in, but he's always so curious when I film in here. <laughs> you can like hear him crinkling right now. What are you doing? What are you doing? Be careful. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if any of you got anything in the Crunchyroll sale and if you were able to pick up your very own Eastream Mai, I'd love to know. Uh, or if you've found any other really good deals, pre-owned, new, anything recently, let me know in the comments down below. As always, I hope you all have a very, very wonderful day and I'll see you all next time. Bye.